Okay, this is gonna be a very quick video, but I wanna go over very quickly the different keyword match types in Google Ads, the types of search terms that they actually trigger, and I wanted this to be a quick video for people that are wondering, how does search intent work with Google Ads and how do match types work with Google Ads? So first and foremost, when you're targeting search keywords, the thing I cannot stress to people enough is, in this ad group, I am targeting things related to pool repair, so swimming pool repair. So when you're targeting a keyword like that, the last thing you wanna do is come in here, let's just say you're, you are a pool repair service company, the last thing you want to do is come in here with a broad match keyword like pool repair. Because what's going to happen is Google is going to take every single possible search term related to repairing pools, whether it is equipment, whether it is kits, whether it is people looking for services or people looking for something they can purchase or people learning how to do it. Google is going to target every single person. You are trying to target your customer who is interested in pool repair services. They own a swimming pool. They need something repaired on their swimming pool, they are looking for a company. So the best thing you can do in that case is either make sure you do pool repair near me or pool repair with a location attached to it, depending on the different locations that you service. Now, the other difference is going to be your match type. So if you are targeting a keyword like pool repair, since it does get a lot of searches, you could target the exact match version of this keyword. The biggest difference with that is Google is gonna say, okay, this specific keyword, we're not focused on search intent, we're focused on making sure we match any search term that is basically very, very, very closely related or very close variant of pool repair. So it could be something like pool repair services or pool repairs or something like that. It may, or swimming pool repair. Those are some of the things and I'll show you what exact match keywords actually match. And those are some of the different things that it's actually going to target. When you do it as a phrase match keyword, it will probably be much more similar to how the broad match keyword will react as well to having this keyword in your campaign where it's going to be going after as many things as possible maybe not quite as much as broad match will with exact match this is really where i go after some of these keywords where the search intent is kind of up in the air this could be uh, anybody who is does anything related to swimming pools or owns a swimming pool or is potentially just looking up how much does a pool repair cost before they ever even install a swimming pool. We don't want to target all those people with our ads. We want to target people that are searching for pool repair versus near me. They click on our ad, they find our website, we repair pools and they give us a call and now we have a new customer. So I sometimes simplify it, make it easy, but I've seen way too many accounts where people have way too many keywords in there. And you're much better off keeping it very, very simple. Pool repair services near me, pool pump repair near me, pool equipment repair near me. And the reason why I'm looking at my all-time results here, if you target a broad match keyword, you're gonna see it's gonna get the majority of impressions. I put all three of these in the same ad group. I would not recommend doing that. What you wanna do is pick one match type per ad group. And if you're not sure which match type to pick, I would highly recommend just going with phrase match. Broad match sometimes can be a little bit too broad. And I would say broad match keywords work very well in an account that's well managed with really good conversion data, with high budgets, and with a lot of negative keywords. Phrase match keywords tend to give you the best of both worlds between exact and broad, where things will stay relevant. And as long as you are managing the account pretty well, and you are keeping on track with all of your conversion data and your conversion quality of all the leads that are coming in, then phrase match keywords can also be a very good option. Exact match keywords can just be a little bit limiting in terms of the overall volume they have. You could see no clicks, 14 impressions. One of the questions I get is, are broad match keywords cheaper? And you can see here the same keyword variation, three different match types. It's not any cheaper to target the broad match keywords. However, if you are targeting broad match keywords, it gives you a larger pool of search terms that will actually match to your keyword. So it is technically cheaper to target broad match keywords. However, the issue with broad match keywords, and we're gonna click on this, and we're gonna look at the search term specifically for our broad match keyword type. So you can see the keyword here. You could see what it's gonna start doing is bringing in impressions for things that just aren't necessarily the most relevant keywords. Pool supply store near me is different than pool repair. Pool coping repair, pool liner repair, all of those are good keywords, but then you start getting things like clean out pool filter. Pool coping replacement. This is different than, in my mind, this is different than somebody searching for pool repair. Pool heater installation near me. Again, different than pool repair. Pool leaks. That could be somebody just saying, my pool is leaking, how do I fix this? Repair hole and vinyl pool lighter. So some of these here are perfectly fine. Pool repair near me within 20 miles. Great search term. Pool deck repair near me. Great search term. Pool service, pool maintenance, all of these are good search terms. They're all getting one impression, but then we start getting things, acid wash, pool service, aqua blue is a competitor around here, not that I'm a real company, aqua care, pool service, this 
I don't think people are searching for me yet, but this could also be somebody just searching for a competitor. Bead blasting pool tile, I don't even know what that is. Brothers pool service, can a pool pump be repaired? So you start coming in with more irrelevancy when you're using broad match keywords. Not that you won't get good keywords here. Commercial pool cleaning is a great keyword to target, but I would wanna target that in my pool cleaning ad group. So let's get rid of this keyword here. Let's come back to our keywords our search keywords, and let's look at what comes in for phrase match. So with phrase match, you can see two clicks, 59 impressions. We're gonna click on this and look at our search terms for phrase match. And generally here, you're gonna see more relevant search terms when it comes to an actual percentage basis, because with broad match, it is gonna bring in a lot of those irrelevant searches, things where people are searching for other competitors or very short keywords or question keywords, things that don't have the search intent we're looking for. Pool repair near me is the main one that's driving impressions. That is perfect. Pool repair companies near me, pool repair near me within five miles. So for the most part, most of these are pretty relevant. And after a while, what you can start to get better at is saying, okay, pool heater repair near me. Why don't we put together a custom landing page for pool heater repair services? And then we target that keyword in its own ad group so that when somebody's searching for pool heat pump repair, pool heater repair, pool pumps repair, we can basically take all of those and put them all into one ad group and keep things as relevant as possible. So you'll see the phrase match, the match type here is phrase match. And a lot of these ones that are coming in are very, very relevant for what we are trying to target. So that's why I always say phrase match is generally going to give you the best options when it comes to relevancy and volume, where you start to expand your keyword base a little bit with some of the different search terms that are coming in, but you're also not going so far away from the keyword that we are originally targeting. So let's come back over one more time for our search keywords and now select our exact match and click on the search terms for exact match. This is just for this keyword. And you can see for the exact match keywords, only seven total search terms it's matched. Pool service technician. So this is for the exact match keyword, pool repair near me, pool maintenance near me. Google is basically saying, we think pool maintenance, pool repair are pretty similar keywords, which they're not wrong about. Repair companies, service and repairs, pool service near me, pool service technician. So we get all of these different search terms. We have one here, which is kind of a little bit up in the air with in terms of what is the overall search intent. But the rest of these give us really good search intent. So if I'm trying to keep things relevant, I'm trying to not have any wasted ad spend on some of the different keywords I'm targeting, then I generally go with phrase match keywords. And with brand new campaigns, I use exact match keywords a lot because I'd rather bid higher for an exact match keyword that doesn't have as many search terms that it's matching, then spend $10.83, for example, if we come over here to the search terms, $10.83 for something like pool leaks. I don't want to spend $10 on that click because pool leaks is somebody, that's an informative search. This isn't pool leak repair near me, pool leak specialist near me. Who do I contact to fix a pool leak? Those are the keywords we want to target. We don't just want to target people looking for pool leaks or pool supplies or repair hole and vinyl pool liner. Even this could be somebody looking for a DIY project. So if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments section. I want to quickly go over keyword targeting and how the match type you're targeting, the keyword search intent, what you are bidding can all impact the search terms that you're seeing and how that can have a huge impact on your conversions as well. So thank you for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. A quick 30 second promotion. If you like my content, I have a Google ads course available, 21 lessons over 10 hours for $34.99. You can access it by going to surfsidepppc.com slash course. That will give you all the information you need to run successful Google ads campaigns. If you're interested in learning how to drive more leads for your business, join Surfside Inbound. It's $4.99 a month. It's available on Patreon. It's available through my YouTube membership and you'll get access to all of my premium content, including a five and a half hour inbound marketing course. Thank you and let's get back to the video.